Now, have you ever thought of cooking with only the sun? Well, it's possible. Viewers Caroline Turner spoke with the makers of solar cookers, Cookers International, concluding her series of the Stratide Expo in Washington on technology available for emergency crisis and disaster relief. Natural resources are being consumed at a faster rate than at any time in history. Almost three billion people still cook their daily food over open fires. The destruction of trees for firewood is causing deforestation, and the smoke from the fire often causes respiratory illness. But the amount of solar energy that reaches the Earth in only one hour could power all human activity for one year, according to Solar Cookers International. They displayed several different models of cookers at the Star Tides Expo in Washington. Good thing with this solar sun is it's free. There's no carbon dioxide, there's no pollution. You can pour, cook food or, and leave it, it come back. It's like a slow, a slow cooker. So when you're cooking it, you put it on a sunny side and come back in two, two and a half hours, your food will be ready. Solar Cookers International captured a Kenyan cook in action who likes the solar cooker because there is no need for firewood. <laughs> There are three basic types of solar cooker designs. Box cooker, parabolic, and panel design. Box cookers can reach degrees of 350 Fahrenheit or 177 Celsius. They can be left unattended for hours. This is a, called a box cooker. We made it with my another friend back in our house for this thing. Basically, these are, called, these are reflectors here. And what you can see is like a plus, uh, clear plastic for covering this thing. There's one box and inside another box and we use the paper for insulation. And so where does the food go? Food comes in here. Oh. The parabolic transfers sunlight like a magnifying glass on the bottom of the cooking pot or piece of meat, instantly reaching combustion temperatures. Although the focal point under the pot is as hot as an open fire, the curved reflector doesn't get hot. Current models are large and expensive and cannot be left unattended. This is a parabolic cooker. It's based on like a parabolic equation. It has a focal point, uh, which is in the between here. So you put your food here and face this thing towards the sun. The sun lights are reflected underneath the pot and it's like a, you can boil and this is much faster way of cooking it. The solar panel cooker called Cook It was developed in the 1990s to help with Africa's refugee crisis. It comes folded flat for easy storage and can cook a three liter pot of beans, rice, or meat in one to four hours using only the sun. These inexpensive solar cookers were distributed by relief agencies and used during the day at refugee camps. Refugees were able to cook stew and boil water for tea in these cardboard and aluminum solar cookers. According to Solar Cookers International, if solar cookers were widely in use, it would be possible for millions of families to save their scarce fuel and avoid inhaling smoke during the cooking process. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. We want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover. Join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54. Check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com. 